Hi folks, hello and welcome back to another video right here on the channel. So Melody, what have we got for these lovely people today? <gasps> the Labyrinth board game. Yep, or to give it its full title, Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the board game. Okay, so this one is by the folks at River Horse Studios. Uh, I think they're in Nottingham. And uh, it's obviously, it's a movie title uh, from the brilliant movie. Uh, we both love Labyrinth, don't we? Yeah. Uh, and I suspect a few of you guys who tuned into this one are Labyrinth fans as well. So uh, the only thing I've done, guys, this come last week, it's been taken out of the big box uh, and I just got the cellophane off, off camera to avoid any injuries or any stress to my co-host here as I'm waving knives around okay so what i'll do show you again the front and you can see you got your just avoiding the glare your little minis there okay and obviously there are all the characters down here the side of the box is nice as well it's just got the same yeah, pattern but river horses logo on there there we go and the back of the box okay so you can see what the game components are like before we actually unbox them Okay, and as we normally do by now, I'll just uh, give a little rundown of what it says. Okay, so Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the board game. Will Sarah manage to defeat Jareth and his labyrinth, or will the Goblin King turn little Toby into a goblin baby? You have 13 hours to find out. Play with up to four friends in this fun family board game based on a classic Labyrinth movie by Jim Henson. And there's just a list of game components, which I'm not going to go into because we are going to show them as we go this one guys is for one to five players um it does have a unique little thing uh, you've only got the four characters to play but um a fifth person can actually control um jareth oh. you know david bowie's character the goblin king cool. so uh yeah okay uh it says age six up it's a pretty <sighs> simple as maybe two like harsher term game but it goes on the uh, those of you who've played talisman or have watched my talisman videos um it's basically uh, it's what you call a roll and move you roll and you might roll say a three so you move three, three spaces, spaces in one direction or the other okay um and it says it's 30 plus minutes to be fair i think with a couple of you are playing it solo that's probably about right by the sound of it okay so let's open this box up and what we're going to say guys my eyes up melody okay well i don't actually mind you people into this box because it's only game components and not a mystery box things there we go so not on the inside there oh no this is nice the ah, actual box feeler it's velvet yeah the actual box is in like a, a velvety kind of you know you can't see it but trust me it's like a velvet on there isn't it that was really really nice okay so striking straight away is the five minis but what we'll do get the other components out first and then we shall have a look at the minis after that eh? yeah okay so opening up first then we have a pack of dice oh, wow. oh, they are like the polyhedral kind of dice for those of you guys who play dungeons and dragons and um, the game is ran off various dice i think the mechanic is um fab. each character as like um where are we speed wit and brawn and they have like a different color dice to represent it so the bigger characters mm -hmm. I'll have like the lower dice to be able to move, say a D4, a four-sided dice. Whereas a faster Ooh. character, we have got one character here who's faster. He'll roll like say the twelve-sided dice to represent that chance of being able to. Oh. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, pack of little stands, standees. These are for the um, you know at the end when you get to. Sorry for anyone who hasn't seen the film. It's been around for like forever, so yeah. you know, no spoilers. When you get into Goblin City, yeah, um, and you face the various the soldiers and the cavalry, then you meet Jareth. Yeah, there the little standees for that. Ah. Okay, uh, a little look like I don't know. How would you describe them? You ba it's basically a little um, thing to yeah, to to they sort of like push together don't they yeah it's like words of escape it's like a little button thing. Button, button yeah, yeah it's called a button button's a nice yeah. word okay we have a pack of oh no they're nice aren't they oh they're lovely yeah do you want to show them up yeah they're really nice so you just turn over turn it around sorry and avoiding the glare as best you can i, I know it's hard um yeah so what actually happens guys is the game um i'll show you the board in a minute but you actually draw these cards ah. like um you know when we play talisman yeah and you land on a square and you've got to pull an event card yeah basically it runs on like events cool. that'll ask you to roll off or do a challenge or do something or other okay nice. 
Um, and then we get the character cards. Do you want to open oh, those, please? Yeah. Because they, they, uh, they, they look amazing. Don't yeah. I mean, I tell you what, River Horse, just initial impressions straight away, if you can't tell by how happy I am, you know, yeah, I, I think they've I'm really put this, put this out the park, haven't so, they? Okay, we so have... we have Hoggle. Hoggle! Okay. We have Ludo. Ludo. Okay. We have Sir Didymus. Okay. We and we have Sarah. Okay. So, I mean, those who aren't familiar with the film, obviously probably aren't going to be watching this video. But, um, yeah, Sarah is like a young girl. Um, she's fed up of having to look after her baby brother, Toby. Um, so she goes away and she says this little rhyme and whatever. And he ends up getting kidnapped by the Goblin King, uh, Bowie, David Bowie's character. Um, and she goes into a, a great big maze, the labyrinth of the film. Yeah. Meets all sorts of characters, has some weird, wonderful little adventures, gets to Goblin City and gets her brother back. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do in this game, okay? So I'm going to lift this out because we have more stuff underneath. So we have um, a... Oh, they've, they've done extra stuff. Deluxe oh, playing yeah. pieces and um, expansions. Okay, so that's like a little leaflet off... Uh, keep forgetting, River Horse. Okay. Oh no, that, there's something interesting as well. They actually do Dark Crystal. Wow. So they've obviously got the uh, the, the retro franchise yeah. uh, licences. Yeah. Okay, we have a rule book, which again, doesn't really look that thick. Um, now, no, but there's some really nice pictures. And there that. you go, see, so you see like David Bowie there, the immortal David Bowie. No longer with us, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the game book itself shows components there. Um, what we're going to be unboxing and showing you now. Um, and just more art from the, well, art, you know, photos yeah. from the film and stuff. Really nice. So, yeah, that is, it's a nice little rule book, that, by the look of it. It, it looks pretty basic, you know. Um, I say the game, you can pick it up and have a go at it now. It, it's it's simple enough to play, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and we have a set of tokens. Just for a minute, I thought we did that on wow. the board. <laughs> okay, so that is just want to show the folks oh, uh, That is your clock. That little button that we had before. Um is to put the finger on that the clock. Is fabulous. So what you basically do is um, every turn, the end of every beginning of every new turn, you turn the clock round, and you've got yeah. thirteen hours to get to Goblin City and rescue wow. Toby. And um, John shows tokens as well. Sorry. Yeah. So you got um, some little tokens up on there as well, which will be evidence as uh, if we get round to putting a gameplay video of this one up. Yeah. Okay. There are wow. more tokens there. So these are obviously... They're those. the ones that go on the standees. Yeah. The ones on the bottom you can see here are the ones that when we get to Goblin City, um, we have the army, the cavalry, we have wow. little Toby. They're yeah, fabulous. I mean, this seems to have blown you away. It does. To be fair. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay. But I love the film, so... Uh, the board. Let's put that down there. Okay, now the board is nice, but I'll tell you right now, it's a busy board. Yeah. Very busy. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, wow. Okay, so it probably isn't going to show up best on the camera there, to be honest. I'm hoping that the camera gets it. But you've basically got like little spaces for you to move on to. Yeah? Yeah. You see them? Yeah, So yeah. what you do is you have your cards and you put your card on them. You draw your card for your yeah. event yeah. or challenge or whatever. So the idea, guys, you move around here. And I think there's a, there's a mechanic in it whereby I think you've got to shuffle the deck and there's um, a card that lets you into the entrance of the um, of Goblin City. Cool. Now, that'll appear in the bottom third of the deck of cards. Right. So you have at least 20 encounters yeah. around here before you get to that. Yeah. And then, you obviously, you go into the middle then, the castle. Yeah. And that's where you'd have those standees. Standees, yeah. To... There's a little tiny, tiny picture there of Toby. Is there? Maybe, yeah. Have a look. Right in the castle. <laughs> These little stripy pyjamas. Yeah, I mean, as I say, a, a real close-up of the board, guys, for you to get a really good idea of it. I say, it's very, very busy, but, you know, it's a labyrinth, isn't it, you know? So, that is the board, Melody, and the part that I know you've been looking forward to Figures. is the miniatures. So, what we'll do, we'll do in order of our cards here. So, we have our young lady, Sarah. If you want to show oh, her, to the, have a little look and show her to the camera. The detail is amazing on them. They'd be nice to paint these as well, guys. Yeah. Um, if anybody, you know, if that was your bag kind of thing. Yeah. 
Okay, next we have, say, Didymus. Oh. Ride this dog. Oh, wow. He's cute. Okay. Probably one of my favourite characters of the film now, and this is the guy I'm going to play as. Ludo. 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 <laughs> now, he'd come up lovely if he painted him, oh, put a little bit of ink on him to pick his fur up, wouldn't he? Oh. Okay, we have... Hoggle, who's said this little guy. Which I reckon I'd like to play, I like him. Yeah, you like Hoggle, you want yeah. to play Hoggle. Well, Ludo and Hoggle would be an interesting little uh, combination, wouldn't they? Yeah. Okay. That's cute. And we have Jareth, which is David Bowie's Whoa. character there, the Goblin King. Wow. That is spot on. It's just, it is him in the film. It's, it's really, really nice, isn't it? You know, I, I'd be tempted. I mean, I'm not going to put myself down for it because but somebody to, somewhere will challenge me to do to it. Paint them. But I, I would at some point maybe like to paint oh, them because they, they are, are fab. I love them. Yeah. So uh, I say Melody's obviously um, so excited in love with this game. Play. We're going to try and play it the weekend, aren't we? To yeah. be fair. Okay, guys. So that was Jim Henson's Labyrinth: The Board Game by the amazing River Horse Games out of Nottingham, right here in the United Kingdom. Do us a favour, guys. As always. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like, share, and more importantly, leave us a comment. Let Melody, let myself know. Um, you know, are you a fan of the film? I presume because you know you're, you're watching a video that you are. Um, you know, are you not? Are you a fan of David Bowie? I mean, I, I, I've got to admit, um, and it sounds it sounds terrible to say so. I was aware of Bowie's music through radio and charts and stuff like that, but I never really listened to him until after he passed. Uh, and I've got like one of the CDs up here that I listen to regularly like, yeah. when I'm working on projects in the studio here. So, yeah, I mean, this is a no-brainer for me. I mean, I knew Mel because she, she loves the movie more than I do. I knew like Mel would love the um, love oh, the game. Yeah. Um, I'm really surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, right. It's really nice. So what we'll probably do, guys, as is the norm, is we'll probably try and get a gameplay of this up at some point on the channel. Please don't hold me to it or the date because. The board behind us here is absolutely frantic. The channel content is covered through till the back end of 2023. Scheduled four videos a month, so I'm um, trying to squeeze stuff in. You know, bear with me. All right, guys, gone on long enough. This is Mel. I'm Nick. That was Labyrinth, and we'll see you all next month for another board game review. Bye-bye for now.